unsurprisingly, there's been a mixed reaction. Some say it was the right thing to do to bring the CDC's recommendation in line with the FDA's authorization. Others said she should have stuck with the committee's vote. But I also spoke today with one of the advisors who had voted against boosters for all frontline workers, Dr. Catherine Paling from Wake Forest. She told me that rather than feeling like Dr. Walensky ignored the committee, that instead she actually incorporated some of their concerns into the language of the recommendation, specifically saying those at exposure risk because of their jobs may receive a booster, not that they should, leaving the decision making up to them and their health care providers. But critics point out it's just the latest in a bumpy road to this point. Just more than two months ago, CDC and FDA said definitively that Americans do not need a booster shot at that time. Just more than a month later, that big announcement that all Americans should get one once they're eight months from being fully vaccinated, starting the week of September 20th. But as that date approached, the plan kept narrowing. In early September, it became clear it would just be Pfizer's vaccine at first. Then, last Friday, FDA's advisors narrowed the recommendation even more more to the elderly and those at high risk because of their health or jobs. FDA authorized the booster on Wednesday, the Pfizer booster, and then the CDC saw its own back and forth. But as of today, 20 million Americans become eligible for their third Pfizer dose, according to the president, out of 60 million who will ultimately become eligible once they're six months out. But what about the millions who got Moderna and J&J? Surgeon General Vivek Murthy says booster guidance for them is coming too, hopefully within weeks. And for those wondering if the definition of fully vaccinated has now changed to include boosters, Dr. Walensky says for the time being, full vaccination for Pfizer is still two doses. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.